The popularity of geothermal is continuing to grow because of uh, federal tax credits, power company rebates and incentives, and then also people's ambitions to have less of a carbon footprint. So we're in northern Minnesota and uh, some of the temperature extremes can get as low as 65 below zero Fahrenheit. And during those times, the geothermal might not be the best suited to match the heat loss of the building. And that's where the propane fired systems would come in to supplement. If we were to size this home for a geothermal entirely, it, it would probably have to be nearly double the size of what it is to maintain the building temperature through the extreme temperatures uh, throughout the winter. When the system would switch over from geothermal to propane heat, it's definitely going to be more noticeable for the warmth coming out of the ducting. So the air blowing on your skin instead of being 95 degrees will be 130 degrees, which is going to feel much more comfortable. I typically include gas or propane backup on every geothermal application, at least 95% of them, and achieving greater comfort and efficiency with a lower electrical rate because of the ability to be on the dual fuel strategy is far superior than any all-electric system.